Hello, everybody. Today, I will be sharing how to set up a uh, various kinds of cron jobs um, on AWS. So just not really to set up like a CloudWatch rule, but just how to um, navigate cron jobs specifically. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of take us through a couple scenarios here. We have five different ones here. Uh, and I'll explain as we go along. So first we have schedule a job every day at 7 p.m. Um, so just, I guess, a little background on what cron jobs are to begin with. Uh, it's just a way to um, schedule jobs on a reoccurring basis. Uh, so there's different kinds of uh, well, in this case with AWS, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, fields, essentially. Uh, and each of them represent a different kind of periodic time frame. So the first one would be minutes, uh, and then it's hours, then days. Um, uh, sorry, day of the month, and then month. And then we have day of the week and year. So if we go into this first one, it says schedule a job every day at 7 p.m. So what we would do here is there's the wild key, which is an asterisk. Uh, so that just means everything. So if we put an asterisk there, it'd be every single minute. Uh, but what we're really looking for is um, every day at 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. meaning the zero minute, right? Um, and then we're looking at the seventh, not the seventh, so 7 p.m. So that's going to be military 12 point plus seven. So the 19th hour. Um, and then it's going to be <clears throat> every day of the month, every month. Um, and it, when, when you have day of the month, it's either you use day of the month or you use day of the week. So we're gonna keep this one as a question mark, meaning that it's just not gonna be used. It's more every day of the month. Uh, and then that's gonna be every year. So then it kind of shows us here, the next one would be uh, the next day and, and the following day, and it's every day at 1900. So if we did try to put something in here like Monday, that's not gonna give us any results and that will actually throw an error. All right. Uh, the next one is schedule a job once a month on the fifth day. All right. So once, once a month on the fifth day. Uh, what we do here, so if you remember this is the day of the week, right? I mean the day of the month. So we would just put that onto the fifth. And then I mean, we can alter the hour. We could just make it at midnight. So now this is going to be the fifth of every month this uh, job would execute. The next one we have is schedule a job for every other minute. All right. So then what we're going to want to do uh, for the day of month, so it's going to be every day of every hour. And then what we, the keyword we want here is a slash. Um, so this will say the starting minute. So we're going to start right at the beginning of the hour. And then we're going to increment by two. So it's going to be every other minute. See 2008, 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016. All right, so the key right there is the slash. This is the beginning time, and then this is how much you're going to increment by. Schedule a job on the fifth and 15th day of every month. Okay, so we can just put this back to zero. Uh, so it's, we're dealing with the day of the month, so we're not really dealing with the hour. So we'll put that at D zero and now we want two specific days so what we're going to do is we're going to put a five and then a comma 15. so now you'll see wednesday the 5th july 20 then we go to i mean wednesday the 15th and then 5 15 5 and 15 of every single month there. and the last one is schedule a job at 6 p.m every monday through friday all right so we're looking at 6 p.m now we're going to switch this to a question mark 
Um, we're going to put the hour 6 p.m. So that would be 12 plus 6, 18. And then said Monday through Friday. So what we're going to do is we'll do Mon through Fry. So you can see this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's really either or with the day of the month and the day of the week. Uh, that's pretty much it.